hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i make my homemade bread from scratch keep in mind that everyone's ingredients are different this is just how i like my bread not too yeasty not too sweet not too salty but just tasty and very spongy i left the ingredients to my bread in the description below you can feel free to follow my recipe add a little more or take out a little more that's up to you so the ingredients for making my bread is a tablespoon of sugar, a half a tablespoon of yeast, and a half a teaspoon of salt, as well as some butter and well the flour. I also have a luke lukewarm water, which I'll be using to assist in raising the yeast. So I will start by adding the sugar to the lukewarm water, giving it a little mix. All right, and then add these. Oopsie, add these. Some people usually mix it, I don't. I just leave it as is and set it aside. And for the dry ingredients, I'll just be adding the salt, sprinkle the salt, and some butter. I usually go by average, but I'm guessing it's um, about half of this. With this amount of flour here, I believe it was um, three and a half cups. This here gives me two loaves of bread. Right, so I'm going to add half of this, half of the entire butter. So I just added the butter, so I'm just going to mix everything in. And I didn't tout my butter before, so it's a little hard. So the better thing to do is have the butter at room temperature, so it'll be easy to mix in but it it works just as fine it, it it does nothing if it's cold or anything to the to the bread so i'm going to mix this in so i finished mixing the butter and the salt into the flour all right this is it here so now i'm going to add my wet ingredients this is the result of my yeast after about 10 minutes so i'm going to add it to my dry ingredients now and just mix everything in i also have here a cup of water to mix in to knead the flour i just add that in I have some remaining let me just get a spoon to dip that out sugar you want all your flavor you want to be eaten just flour right so this is the wet ingredients I'm just going to mix this in before I continue adding the rest of water right and this is a messy process so just bear with me. And you add in the water little by little because you don't want to have to add unnecessary flour. Right? And this is how you need to so come from the end and you pull in and press. And you continue doing that until all the water soak up. Clean, press. Out, in, press. And you don't want to knead it too dry while it's dry because you don't want the bread to end up stiff. 
you want nice soft fluffy bread some people put milk some people put egg I don't because it spoils the bread fast so I just go with the basics Right. and you just knead until everything is married to each other so this is it guys I did add just a sprinkle of dry flour to my dough you can see it's it's still soft right and what I'm going to do is leave this to set for about an hour and I'll be covering it with a damp cloth and then when I come back it's going to raise a little and what I would do is just punch it down just kind of to squeeze out all the air and then let it set for another half an hour depending on how much time you have my bread comes out really nice and fluffy and you know it, it 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 don't have so much when you punch it down it wouldn't have so much of air pockets in it you know it will be a full in bread hi guys so this is my bread after one hour i did drizzle some oil on it so it wouldn't crack it wouldn't get dry even though i put the damp cloth you know i just for extra precaution i just put the oil to keep it a little moist and smooth so what i'm going to do now is just kind of punch out all the air and from here from here I'll just um, cut it in two and this will be my two bread so I'm going to roll this out and then put it in my pan for it to um, raise for another half an hour and then I'll preheat my oven for 350. These are the two baking pans that I'll be using and I'll just butter it lightly. I wouldn't be putting any flour. Just butter it lightly. So when I'm finished, at the end of it, um, at the bottom will be golden as well. So I finished rolling out the bread and putting it in the baking pans and now I'm going to cover it back with the damp cloth for the next 20 minutes and then in the oven it goes for 20 minutes to bake 20 to 25 minutes so this is how much it rise after 20 minutes so now I'm going to put it in the oven for it to bake for the next 20 minutes nice and golden So to find out if your bread is finished, what you do is check it by piercing it with a skewer. I don't have a skewer so I'm going to just use a knife. And once nothing comes up on the knife then it's good. So let's go. Yep, it's done. So let's check the bottom now and this is how the bottom of my bread looks when I put the butter get the little kind of golden brown color to it so cutting time now and the moment of truth guys let's see how well This is it guys, like sponge. And that's the end of my tutorial guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you've tried my recipe, 
then put a comment in the link below on how it came out for you and see you in my next video bye